probably the biggest college football fan here. By well, you actually, you're probably yeah. I would say as you're as as as, as, as as a fan, of, a bigger fan of both of them. As the happy medium, I'll give you that. As the happy medium between you two, I love college football. NFL is back. So excited. The games aren't going to be the same. Like the energy around college football is just a little bit different. But the skill, like watching some of these college plays, are like, what what are we doing? Yeah, now some of them we've fair. had a couple good one handed catches already, but some of them was like, what like watching the Lobos <laughs> play that. against McMillan last night? That was the greatest. I mean, watching the Peter, Lobos play at all. Peter described it to me as he had the cheese touch, and it couldn't be more accurate. I was <laughs> like, he he literally just looked like he had the cheese touch, and no it one was, want to touch him. That shouldn't happen in the NFL. So I'm excited for that part of it. Fair. And it starts off with what should theoretically be the only good Thursday night football game this year. Oh, yep. yeah. This is going to be a good game. The Ravens and the Chiefs. Nope. I have yeah. it marked down as a tie because I was trying to use that for the top ten teams. Yeah, I saw that. I noticed. Um, that ended up not working. Yeah, cool. Um, does I, anybody want to start? <laughs> I will. Okay. Uh, I said it in our top ten, and I'll say it again. Until they are proven to be defeated, I, I have to go with the Chiefs. And I think this is a very good check case where Ravens can beat them. I just, until I see it, I can't pick it. I have to pick with them. So, okay. as sad as I am, I'm going to pick the Chiefs. That's kind of sad. Yeah, I know. I All just right. have to see it first. Um, oh, Can I go next? You can I would go, like next. To go next. You are more than All right, before. Ravens, Chiefs. Um, It's the first game of the year. It is the first game of the year. We're not in the postseason. We are not in the postseason. We're not in the postseason. So the Ravens are so not going to suck. Yeah. Potentially. Potentially. It's but it's myself. Lamar in the actual season. They do tend to do better. They in the do tend season. to do better in the regular season. And we all watched the Chiefs Lions game first year or last year. Cor- correct. That's like that's what it's a little. The Chiefs of. start off slow, at least for the first game. They might I'm be. taking Ravens. Ravens are going to come back mad about. Their postseason loss, and they're gonna take them out. It's gonna be pretty cool. I I do like to cheer for the Ravens for whatever reason. I like the team. I was like, I, I like they're Harbaugh. Cool he 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 runs a pretty tight ship. I don't and like his brother. That's fair. And the, as a Patriots fan, we we beat him a lot, so it wasn't really. It's like the AFC East. I don't really have a problem except for the Jets because we just <laughs> kick their butts every year. Yeah. I was like, well, I don't have an issue with them. Like, the, the Ravens, I don't have an issue with them. Because we beat them. Now we don't beat. We are physically incapable of beating them. Yeah, you don't win a lot of games anymore. But it's okay because I know we're. Gonna, <laughs> I know because we're you did. Lose. That's all right. that matters. Right. I. I. We could lose for. Actually, I'm not going to speak that into existence. <laughs> Ravens Chiefs. I want again. I'm, I'm going to be cheering for the Ravens regardless of who I pick, unless I, I actually I do like being right. So if I pick the Chiefs, I might cheer for the Chiefs. With that being, I do think I'm. I'm leaning the Ravens. Because under like the same, I think this Ravens team is better than the Lions team that beat them, and I think the Chiefs currently, with no like with Xavier Worthy, their most clear wide receiver. I, I mean, but he might get suspended. That's I true. I mean, he shouldn't this soon. I think he. They're pushing it. Right. So I was like, I he might play, but he might not. I was like, yeah. like just with the questions surrounding like the Chiefs. Questionless, yeah, Xavier Worthy. Their defense, I think, will step up. I do think I, the Ravens will not look great. Mm-mm. I just think the Ravens come with the fire and energy of being pissed that they win week one. Now, even though I predicted the Ravens to make the Super Bowl, if this matchup actually does happen in the postseason, I will pick the Chiefs 20 out of 10 times until the Ravens beat them. Like, under the same premise. Until the Ravens beat them in the playoffs, I can't pick the Ravens. So, and, and that's why... like. Chiefs this, playoffs are this one's game. really hard to pick. It's a great first game. It really is. And like, I although I did pick the Chiefs, I honestly could I very well could see the Ravens win this. I think the one thing that concerns me with the Ravens is the other than other than Zay and Zay's good. I just don't. Is Mark playing? Is who else are they going to throw the ball to? Now you may not need to throw the ball with you have Henry and Lamar. Yeah, Henry but, and Lamar is pretty right. And also, is Henry going to be the same, or is he going to be slowed down by? And I will say, as much that's as I, I need to see, as much as Lamar gets dragged on for his throwing, he makes crappy receivers work. He does. Like both these quarterbacks make crappy receivers work. So I was like, it, it's 
it could just be in the fact that they don't throw it as much. Yeah. But if they throw it one time to, I don't even know who their number two receiver is. In all honesty, um, um, to be honest, I said that Omar. I said Rashad Bateman. Rashad Bateman played for Baltimore. Not anymore. With you though. Yeah. Uh, like if if you get those one or two passes to Bateman, he'll catch them. I was like Lamar will throw a catchable ball to him. Yeah. yeah. So I was like I I am leaning the Ravens for another week one upset of the Chiefs. Mm-hmm. And it, it's an upset, regardless of what the spread comes out of. What it, regardless of whatever, it's an upset. So would I be right to say that this game really is a flip of a coin? Yeah, I was like, I do like. Kinda. I think the Ravens on paper are a better team, but it's the Chiefs. It's, yeah, yeah. I the, agree on paper. Like if you, the if you eliminated do, the names, of, yeah, of the, the Chiefs the do start out rusty though. That's the only thing that I'm. At least they they have so they without, have without Tyreek Hill. My yeah. next Tyree question and, and Travis Kelsey no mm-hmm. longer being good. My next question is. Is this the same day they're going to go out for Reeves? What? Is this the same day they're going to do like their Super Bowl banner stuff? It should be. Then I might... I'll, still, I'll stick with uh, Chiefs, but I might... I could s- probably see more of the Ravens winning because of that fire now. Right. I was like, there and is... Especially if you kind of like unload that banner right in front of your face and you see Super Stephon Bowl. Stephon Diggs, but actual. Yeah. yeah. Then maybe... But. Stephon Diggs did what he wanted to do. Yeah. Okay. So we Friday. got 2-1 to one. Ravens, oh, yeah. Ravens over Chiefs. Thursday. I'm going to go to the Friday game first, and I think we're going to kind of group it together. Because like, that took yeah. uh, it took a good little bit. But this one's also a good game. In Brazil, we have the Packers the stadium, and the Eagles. you're not allowed to wear green. We have the two teams that wear green. Two of the three. Well, even the Dolphins and the Jaguars green isn't. The Jets. The, the and the oh, Jets. yeah, the Jets. We the Seahawks. I try and think of it. The Seahawks don't count. I try and think about the Jets as little as possible that's in my fair. life. That's and fair. that's why we're living as long as I have. Turn that for you. Yeah. Um, so, Eagles and Packers, two of our top ten teams. It's. I have Eagles. I, I, I am leaning Eagles. I am uh, upset. I have Packers. Why do I have this? Because it's, it's fun. I was Honestly, like, this one is purely that I think it'll be. It would be cool to see Packers win in It will Brazil. be. I like being right. As I mentioned, I cheer for the teams I pick. Yeah, true. I think I'm still... I, I hate the Eagles because they beat us twice. Um, I'm still going to cheer for the Packers. Regardless, I, I'm yeah. picking the Eagles. I think the, the way there is, a, there is a way for the Packers to win. The, if their offense comes out clicking yeah. and the Eagles are coached by Nick Sirianni, there's a good <laughs> chance they win. So, I think that for me, the reason why I pick Packers is I think without... With for Eagles without Kelsey, I'm afraid if that O line is going to still have that leadership with it, which it, it very well could, and it probably still the, does. Their O line is is too good. Lane Johnson stacked. is still but playing. I, I still, I still, I understand the Kelsey problem, but I want to see it. And I think they're too stacked to worry about. It. I think, That's, yeah, he's fantastic. He's their next. I, I I need to see what they're. I need to see that, and I I think that Love and them are going to come out swinging this game. So that's why I think Eagles are wrong, the better team. But I think with this game, I think they're go- I think Packers are going to want to make an instant statement. I mean, right off the bat, and there's not a, a this is a very good way to make that to knock off Eagles right away. Yeah. So as I think, if my again, I think the question with the Eagles is how quickly can they can they ju- like set you add Saquon, you get rid of you get rid of Kelsey. Your offensive line, like I'm, their offensive, offensive line, line is still probably still, still top five. Yeah, it's but it's still. different. It's 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 different. It's, it's a different. Well, it's different. Have the I don't know. Yeah, the, yeah, the tush push game. might not work as well. But it's right, and, but then play. we have no really. With, we have no way of actually knowing if it doesn't work it. until we see it. So yeah. it'll work. I, I feel pretty confident it'll work. This still will work, but I, will it work as a? Okay, enough place. about pushing tushes. The, the Eagles, their defense fell off. That was their issue. Yeah. Two high-powered passing attacks. I was yeah. like, that was that was their kryptonite, but much more common. And then they made up for it in the draft. They did. They helped. Yeah, two corners, right? They drafted the 2020 Jackie Robinson. Oh, um, yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> don't Cooper worry about Dijon. it, bud. Um, <laughs> there we go. Yep. Um, and, and then and they, they double dipped at corner. Um, they got Quinion Mitchell and Cooper DeJean. Uh So I was like, they they addressed it. I yeah, was like, they realized I, their I problem think, and they went after it. I think I think it's a one score game. 
I agree. Oh, yeah. I think it'll be close. And honestly, the Packers will probably have, like, they'll have the story, the headline will be the Packers choke the lead. Probably. And it's not necessarily that they will choke it. I think the Eagles will just come back. You know, I think this game's going to come down to, like we said, one possession. I think Packers will have the ball last. I think it's going to come down. How do you even predict that? I I just have a feeling it's going to come down to is Love going to be able to come off right away against the New Zealand? If that's your logic, I feel pretty confident about the Eagles. If your logic is I'm predicting the Packers to have the ball last. No, that that literally just came out just now for no reason. But. Okay. Moving Love, on. Ball we got, we our got, next one. We got two to one Eagles. My over, next over one. Packers. My list goes. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna kind of jump around to consensus ones. The Bengals are gonna win. Right. Yeah. True. Okay. Joe Burrow um, back. I don't think it's gonna be the Bengals. I don't really. I don't think it's really even about the. The, the Patriots. The, I don't, uh, yeah, it's we're the starting Patriots. Ju- we're starting but I don't Jacoby think percent. that's no. Okay. Before the we, ma- that's not what I thought of when so, I thought we were gonna win. I so, thought of Burrow being back. That was my main thought. So I have a question for you. I have an answer for you. If Patriots decided to start Drake May instead of Jacoby, do Patriots have a better shot or do they win? Oh, way better shot. Do they win the game? No. But do they have a better – it's closer, you think? It's a much better shot. Okay. Their offense would definitely look better. Correct. I was like – because you have – it's that same kind of proposition yeah. as like with the CJ Stroud thing. It's like you don't know for sure what he can do well, what Until he, he doesn't. So it's like on film you say, well, he should be able to do this. He has proven that he can do that, or he, he's done that in college, but you don't know for sure. I was like, well, he's not going to get away with that in the NFL. So you game plan for Ramondre, and then all of a sudden, this kid busts out of nowhere. Right. We're, so in that case, we would lose by 20 instead of 30. That's what he does. Okay. Okay, they have this thing called talent. We don't have that. All right? Good we work. just we don't, we, we don't have talent right. right now. Like, our talent is either injured or, or rookies. Non-existent. That's our talent. And oh, so, event- <laughs> eventually, like, we will have, we could have a, like, I'm very, I think I you're in the middle of a like, rebuild. Like, for the future, I'm feeling good. We got our, our quarterback. We got our cornerback. We have some receivers that, uh, great complimentary pieces. I feel pretty good. Not for this year. This year we suck. Okay? Bengals are winning. I think... I, I want to give this game more attention because it kind of deserves it, but Monday night, the 49ers are going to beat the Jets. Oh, right? we're jumping to Monday? We're skipping on Sundays? I'm going consensus once. Okay, fine. Yeah, Niners. The are 49ers ready. are going to beat the Jets. See, it may be close, and the game is going to be a good game, but we can all agree the Jets are not going to so win this football this game. This one feels, it feels tough to give the Jets a loss this one. They're going to lose. But they're playing so. the Niners, so it's like... They're playing the lose. Niners. Yeah, it's a, a, a Rogers is Francisco. most likely gonna end up rusty. I, I'll let's just move on. It's I, like it, against yes, like that's what I'm saying. This game is probably gonna be good. Probably deserves more. I want to kind of. And then I mean, it's Rogers. He's probably gonna come out and show out. Yeah, but he also hasn't played. It might in be a year. too little, too late. So I want to yeah, see. exactly. He has not played in Curry, a year. Also, yes, preseason. But the games I've seen Purdy play in the preseason, he has not looked good. That's the it's preseason. Brock Purdy. I don't. Yeah, I, I don't know, care. but. I, that's something to keep it interesting. And Ayuk was being Russell funky in the preseason. So their preseason's a whole different story. And that's also a little scary to think about. Again, for Ayuk point. got his deal. Yeah, but I haven't done much with anyone. I, has he, he didn't visit my neighbor. What? Brandon Ayuk, he didn't visit my neighbor. Last week I said he was going to visit my neighbor. Yeah, what the hell? we got to ask Aaron if, he's gonna vi- if he visited. Yeah. Um, so the next consensus one, as much as it pains me, the Saints are going to beat the Panthers. Yeah. Now, in week five, yeah, that's when okay. you play them again, I might pick the Panthers. Because I really think Bryce Young might actually be decent. And their division is notorious for going Beat- one-on-one. One. Beating each other, yeah. Uh, but the Saints are going to win. Yeah, I, I, I agree. Like, I think regardless, Unfortunately, I'd love to see the Panthers win, though. Admittedly, me too. I was just, yeah, just I know. not even against, not even against the Saints. I, I want, I want, I want, I want to see Bryce Young do well. I want to see him have a chance. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, but I also want to see the Saints lose. But also, mostly, I want to see Bryce Young actually do something. I would love to. I would like to see him be good week two. Kind of cheating the next one. We all have the Buccaneers beating the com- the commies. Agreed. Yes. It's like I, it, again, it could be a good game just because they suck. Went, I almost win commanders. But I do see we all have the Buccaneers winning. Yeah. Are they starting Jaden? Yes. Yes. That's why I almost uh, the Buccaneers. Washington. Well, that's Washington. why I feel Washington. very confident the Buccaneers will win. Yeah, because like, he's a he might rookie. He, he might, might go great. crazy. The Buccaneers, I feel very Isn't confident. Isn't he also will coming out yeah. of an uh, I'll, I'll just, I'll just, No, his elbow is just so weird. 
I'll keep it. Let's move on. I'm to staying in the box. Um, I. So the next one that sticks out to me is, is the the Dolphins and the Jaguars. Yeah. I I think the mm-hmm. do, the Dolphin. I am a big Jaguars fan I because Trevor Dolphins. Lawrence is pretty. Um, <laughs> sorry, uh, Trevor Lawrence is pretty, and uh, Mac Jones is pretty. No, he's not. Um, he got traded for a bag of chips. No, probably a large pizza. No, it was a bag of chips. We would be lucky if we got a slice of pizza out of him. Okay. <laughs> give her him. I don't. A bag that. of chips. Probably. <laughs> the right, the Dolphins are winning. Give us a box of chips. I would. I, we all have the Dolphins winning. I have the Dolphins. They're too I, fast. I, 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 again, under the same thing as too these good. other guys. Like, I think it could be close. I think the Jaguars can make a game out of I it. I agree. I think the Dolphins. Jags they, are they, funky. They've started off well the last couple years. I like the Dolphins. Um, kind of in the AFC realm, I think we all have the Texans beating the Colts. We do not. I do. I should have looked over before. <laughs> CJ, we trust, bro. I, I will say this. Remember, he has the Colts going to the Super Bowl. So the reason he I picked the Saints. He officially I, had that. The reason I have the Colts is for the sheer fact that it's their home. Yeah, I saw that coming. That, I, I for just, somebody who doesn't like potential, like who doesn't like banking on it, who just like, I like to see it first. You picked Anthony Richardson to be CJ Stroud. Oh, I'm also biased for the Colts because I'm. I know you are. In the USA, but you but picked. Yes. Yeah. Oh, for somebody who wrong. doesn't like. I should put the Texans here. I'm okay, just... so we consensusly have the Texans. No, we do not. At least he but knows. technically, we don't. Colts At least win. he knows. So but my thought I process guess... was correct in saying. Oh yeah. I, okay. Th- there's no reason I should pick Colts here with with I don't know what Richardson's going to be. I'm still. Picking I mean, we know Colts. what Richardson can be. Right. What he could. He showed off last year, but he was hurt too long. Yeah. But it's the first game of the season. He might be okay. Yeah. But Stroud's coming back. I, I do think the Texans win a close one. Um, it, yeah. Uh, well, I was going to do this one first. I think the Bills, are, the Bills are going to beat the Cardinals. I agree. I think the Cardinals will show off some. Marvin Harrison could have Marvin Harrison could have the best in, game of in, his in, life. And they're still going to lose. I agree. How's their defense? Not good. The Cardinals' defense? If they got a bunch of players to overperform last year. Like, that's what it was. Like, they had a bunch of guys. Like, um, Gannon is, again, a defensive mind. He got he got his players to overperform. That's not sustainable. So, it's like, I'm, I'm, the Bills are going to win. Yeah. The next one, I think we all have the Falcons beating the Steelers. Even though this I is agree. this is the game you come back to when you wonder how Mike Tomlin finishes above 500 every year. Yeah, or you look this at This is the game you come back to. Because he wins. And say this, like, that's, that's the game. Or just the game that we come back to next week and go, what were we thinking? Correct, that too. Because Mike Tomlin always finishes above 500. Yeah. Um, so, but we do all, we're do all we all going to predict the Falcons. Yep. This I is going to be Falcons. a pain in the butt to, to edit and go through it. Yeah. Um, the next game we don't care about, so we're going to mention it. The Bears are beating the Titans. Okay, whatever. I said um, Titans are beating the Bears. I think you did that out of spite. I might have, but I <laughs> believe in the Titans. I don't. Will, I don't. Will Levis has a weird Dude, addiction. Dude, mayonnaise Vegas. gives you special powers. No, it does <laughs> Yes, it does. It That's does how not. Sam Darnold saw Ghost. <laughs> <laughs> You can't convince me otherwise. He drank too much milk. And that, have you not seen how pale that kid is? Speaking of which, he's losing to Tommy DeVito and the Giants. And I know Daniel Dimes is starting. Tommy DeVito. It is Tommy DeVito, Drew Lock, and the Giants are beating the pale, the pale so, male kid. This one does not feel good to pick the Giants. Giants win. Wait, I'm still picking them. I took the Vikings. You pick Sam Darnold to win a football game in 2024. Yeah. <laughs> No, is that because it was more of how the Giants play? I was like, it's fair. I was like, I, I, I do legitimately hate picking the New York Giants to win a football game. I do too. If, yeah. it, were, if it were up to me, I would pick them. To I mean, every after game. this game, they could probably change my mind completely. I was like, but I, the only game I want to pick them to win is sweeping the Cowboys and the Eagles. That would like not they could happen. go four and thirteen, <laughs> and I want them if if they if I could pick their four wins, it would be those four games. But I'm not gonna touch you that one. Correct. I, they won't because they suck. Yeah, I took Vikings. So I was like, I don't want to pick them. Like, if JJ was starting, I'd I consider Vikings. it because, I like, think. I know he. I think Kevin O'Connell will mold JJ McCarthy into Kirk Cousins 2.0. Yeah. I don't Except think he. I don't think his ceiling is much higher than that. That's fair. Um, but he can get into a, a 3,500 yard passer with some with a little bit of rushing upside. I was mm-hmm. like, that's that's what he'll be developed into. He's not there right now, and I'm not picking the mayo drinking Sam Darnold. <laughs> well, I did. For the record, there's no proof that he's ever drank. Mayo I mostly chose 
because of Jefferson, though. And it's fair. They, do, they have the best player. That's where I was Which, I mean, you could be the worst quarterback ever, and you could throw it to Jefferson, yeah, you could yeah. look like a god. Honestly, that's the that's only, the reason, only reason I took it is because it's Jefferson. That's the only reason I consider taking the Vikings. Yes, and I, I, I side with Peter on that one. I was like, that's the only reason they were considered, as opposed to that's why they're going to win. Yeah. yeah. I just and and they could come back and win and that be their only win all year. If I give wouldn't that, be shocked. If I give win that game, I would not. I would not be like that's. Surpre-. I'd be like, yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, I mean, it's it was an odd one to pick. Yeah. Okay. The next crappy game that I see, which would have been great in 2017. Oh, are you thinking? Oh, this one. I think I know what you're thinking. Is Broncos and Seahawks? Yeah, I took Fox, Seahawks. I um. Yeah, I, I think we all went Seahawks. Broncos? But it's just this Broncos feels are like a crappy their way. game. I was like, this feels like a game yeah, that, that, no, one that no one's. The only thing is, you'll see the touchdowns on red zone. Yeah, and then you're like, you're gonna, we're gonna come back next. Like, you're gonna be looking heads like, who did the Seahawks beat? Yeah, who did the Broncos lose to? Yeah, I was like, Justin, I love you, and I drafted Audrey Estime for you. The Broncos suck. Are they but. starting Knicks? They are starting Knicks. Yeah. Their other options were Zach Wilson and Jared Stidham. Then, Zach Wilson, baby. No. So the Seahawks are winning. I was Who's like, the Seahawks starting? Geno Smith. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Geno Smith, and then they have their three receivers, Kenneth Walker. Can we get that one out of the way next? No. Yeah, no, Seahawks are winning that one. So, we ha- so the games we have left, um, Chargers, Raiders, Cowboys, Browns, Raven, or not Ravens, Rams, Lions. I think that's it. Rams, Lions. Yep. I think we said the rest of them. Yeah. Okay. Yep. The crappiest game is the Raiders and the Chargers. Yeah, this one was, I haven't even picked one for this one yet. <laughs> and that's fair. I'll start off. I picked the Raiders, and I think they will be a worse team at the end of the year. But you start Gardner Mincha. You get Antonio Pierce as the coach. You are going to win one game you're not supposed to. And I don't feel confident picking to win any other game. And the, <laughs> the Chargers suck. Uh, you have Justin yeah. Herbert. Who's questionable right now. He's questionable, and people question if he's a good quarterback. Which, which those is, people ooh, piss me off. Those but I can't, I can't really funny. prove them wrong. Yeah. But I know they're wrong. But I can't prove them wrong. Yeah. Um, but I, I pick the Raiders. It's just, it's the game that they're gonna win, and then lose the next four straight. I think that's the way I was leaning. I, I took the Chargers. That's fair. Um, the reason I take the Chargers is because I think Herbert will play. I think that. Honestly, I don't have a fucking reason why I took the Chargers. I, think, I just did. No, because it, it feels like you should take the Chargers. Yeah, it felt, supposed yeah I was to be sitting better. there and I was like, I'm supposed to take the Chargers, but then I was looking at the Raiders and I was like... Well, it's, it's, I, to me, it's I, once you realize just how bad the Chargers actually are. Yeah. I, I took the Chargers. They're I mean, rocking a new coach right now. I new I, coach, new offensive coordinator. New offensive coordinator, whole Quentin new offense. Johnson, as the, or Lad McConkey, who didn't even pass 500 co- yards in college. Yeah. I think I'll take the Chargers on a fair on, on a peer principle that I think... Justin Herbert will play, and I think that he will have a, a great game. And I think we're going to see one of the Chargers receiver really step out and be that, like, oh, shit, he could really be a number one. And then the week after, get totally mistaken about who that was. But I think just for right now, I'm picking Chargers because, like, I think you're right. I think they, sh- they feel like they should be better. They just okay. seem too even. All yeah. I know, this game is ending 28-27. to 27. No, it's probably like 10-3. to 3. Okay, it's probably more, but they're just suck. They were like 7 The three. game is going to end 28-27. To to the next crappy game is the Cowboys and the Browns. I'm going to take Cowboys. It's, it's, it's an ugly game. Like there, It's it's under the same what? premise. That it's just, I don't want to watch this game. Uh-uh. I just, I don't. I just it just doesn't seem like a game that should happen. Right. I was like, you go from the Chiefs and the Ravens. I was like, and the, the Lions the next and the Rams. 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 That's what I'm saving for last. Eagles, I was like, Eagles, Packers. The Jets right. and the Niners. The, Niners. the Eagles, I the would, Packers. The fact that I would much rather watch the Jets play a football the game. The Texans and the Colts. Colts. Right. I was like, there's honestly, a lot of like really big honestly, name games, Raiders, and then there's the Cowboys against the Browns. I think Raiders two is the right. I was like, and, and in all honesty, both teams are like top fifteen. Yeah. But it just it feels like wrong. It feels like what goes on inside my belly when I drink too much caffeine. <laughs> <laughs> what happens here after we eat McDonald's? I'll that then. too, Olive Garden. Oh yeah, that was rough. Or both. Yeah, um, uh-huh. that's that's when you take the, the 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 limitless pasta a bit too far. That's what this game feels like. <laughs> <laughs> I was yeah. like, for com- like yeah. the Cowboys <laughs> have no running game. It's fair. The Browns have no passing game. 
Both of them have should have good defenses. They both. I, I, they do, one of them. They? Well, the Cowboys I question without Dan Quinn. Yeah, but they still got Micah. It, it was crappy before he got there. That's fair. It was so bad. Um, I went the Cowboys. We went. I went the Cowboys. I think they're slightly more talented. I also will never pick Deshaun Watson to win a football game. I honestly, honestly don't think unless they play. I don't think the Browns are going to be. I, I think yeah. the <laughs> I think Browns are going to be that team that it is. Everyone's. I think the only time I take the Browns. But everyone's hyped on what they did last year and how they looked with Flacco. Joe Flacco. I don't think they're Deshaun the Watson's not Joe Flacco. No, I don't. Think so we're going year. with the Cowboys. Yeah. yeah. And with the last game, Rams Lions. I know it's not consensus because we work with somebody. Well, we don't work. We film with somebody who is lacking multiple chromosomes. Mm-hmm. Extremely biased. Ex- somehow he's missing them and he has extra at the same it's time. It's impressive. It really is. You're welcome. He has no. a bias despite not actually cheering for this team, but does cheer for this team mm-hmm. and hates also, teams that are rivals of this team yes. without actually liking the team. So, huh, huh. The reason I hate that team. So, the, it's not the because, Lions and the Rams. Huh, it's not because of the Rams. It's because I don't. I don't like. Frisco. I just hate. It. No. They don't want you to call it Frisco anymore. It pisses them off. It's San Francisco, not just Frisco. Frisco. San Francisco. Frisco. The Lions and the Rams. The people who use either all their brain power or none of their brain power have the Lions winning. The one who either uses way too much brain power, which is more than likely trying to think of any reason for the Lions not to win, or not enough brain power, because he's dumb, <laughs> has the Rams winning. If I'm honest, the, the, I think the reason I have the Rams winning this game is because I think I think the Rams are going to come out and chill, and I think they're going to surprise the Lions a little bit, and I think that's going to catch them off guard. Okay, I can see that. And that's why I, that's. And guess what? The Rams will catch up like that. Their their well, offense is just the Lions. Too, the Lions. They both suck. They both <laughs> lose to Drake May. The Lions will catch up like that. Their their offense is too good. The the points will stand. Almon Ra is, in my opinion, the Damn. best offensive player. I, you can say what you want about Cup, Puka, Kyron, I just, I'm whatever. About their defense. Almon Ra's. You're ba- you're betting game. against a Dan Campbell defense. That's you know what. Or a Dan fair. Campbell offense. I was like, you're betting against Dan Campbell. Fair. And personally, he's gotta run four downs because he can, because it's fun. I was like, my <laughs> knees true. don't work. I still like having kneecaps. He plays Madden, and I'm not. I'm not picking. He he plays like he he coaches like he's playing Madden. Yeah. I am not going to pick against Dan Campbell unless he gives me a reason to pick against Dan Campbell. And that is if if this was honestly any other team but the same, I probably pick the Rams. I usually. Yeah. You were so biased. You called them your favorite team. I, I usually love to pick. The it's opposite better. end. Call them the Lions. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, you did call the Rams the Lions. I, I know you called the Lions the Rams. So no amazing. one's no, the Rams just don't exist. No. Do I, I? I honestly. So look at this. I think this is a game that Rams can win, and I, that's why I picked them. I think they're. I think really they are very comparable. I think they are very similar in how they play. I will say you're. You are right that Lions are a more talented team. They are, and on paper they should win this. And this is at home they should win it. Uh, this is I, always I just a fun have, game to watch. Yeah, I, it doesn't matter. It, 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 it was have, fun to watch have, in the playoffs. It's going to be fun to watch. I just have a feeling that Rams are going to return this and win this. I, that's I, it. I, see, I, I tend even to pick here. the one that lost most recently, which was the Rams. But I'm I'm going with the Lions. Well, I, 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 I do kind of back you on the fact that I could see the Rams jumping out to a 10 0 lead. Yeah. Uh, a 10 13 14 point lead. Yeah. And then crazy? Detroit, in six plays, the game's tied. Yeah. Like I think this could be Jameson Williams' breakout game. I was like, I know you don't know who that is. I don't. I think I don't think he'll have a breakout game this game. I think it's very soon though. I was like, but like theoretically, like just Wait. with his with his deep shot ability, like the fact that he is no, so no. fast. His breakout game is gonna be this game. I I like it against the Rams. I was like, That's I fair. think I think there's a there's just a chance they shut down Amon Ra, and all of a sudden you have the fastest dude on the field, with again the, to Jordan McMillan cheese touch. I was like, and he just, and he's it's like that same yeah. thing. Like he's just, I know you didn't watch, you don't watch too much college football. Watching no. Jameson Williams, he's good. like the year at Ohio State, and then at Alabama, or the two years at Ohio State, right? Too. Who? Jameson Williams, because he transferred to Alabama. He wasn't very good. 
at Ohio State. He didn't play because you guys had too many receivers. If, if he played, I would have remembered him. The, the, his year at Alabama was unbelievable. It's for what I've seen from him last year. It was incredible. He didn't play last year. He played uh, a little bit last year. played like one game. He played like three or four. But from what I saw from him last year, I was pretty like – he looked pretty good. He looked. I was pretty excited to to see what he has. I think he was gonna have a good year this year. No, he played twelve games. I like yeah. how we haven't even. But he didn't really Laporta. play. That's no. awesome. <laughs> we have not brought up Sam Laporta. We have not brought up Jimmy Gibbs or David Montgomery. Yeah, we're just like you know what, Amon Ross got this. I mean, to be fair, Laporta I, and Gibbs are injured. They're questionable. They're questionable They'll yeah. play. They'll play. I also say that I think that Rams do a very good job at guarding tight ends. Like I could be totally wrong about that statement, but I just feel like that's the case. Well, the Rams' right. defense could also be completely different. That's you know? oh, that's doesn't play there anymore. That, that's the one thing I'm afraid of. Donald, to. Aaron Donald, Aaron Donald, didn't he leave? Yeah, yeah he, he left. left He's still were, faster than LeSean McCoy, though. That's cool. They replaced him. That's with impressive. The three just like the players. way that I'm still faster than Peter, and always will be faster than Peter. Yeah, that's fair. Backpedaling. Hard. If y'all enjoy, <laughs> please leave a like, subscribe, and don't pick the Rams to win that game. Adios.